We're looking for fractions. Fractions are easy to find. It's easy to get up 10 minutes earlier. It's easy to make one more post a week. It's easy to do an extra one repetition, find a little bit of focus or get one extra session in. That stuff is easy. When your expectations for your own future increase, then you tend to do just a little bit more than what you might have otherwise done. When you have a little bit better support around you, then you tend to do a little bit more than you might have otherwise done. When you do a little bit more, then you tend to get a little bit better results than what you otherwise might have achieved. And you learn. You learn by doing, you learn by getting in the experience. So this is the process of success. I've worked with hundreds of coaches and hundreds of professional athletes. And these are the keys. Increase the expectations of the athlete, of themselves. Help them to construct a vision and to see more possibilities for themselves and for their future than they could see previously. Now, for some athletes, that's been encouraging them to read books or to think about a business idea. You think, well, how does that benefit an athlete? But once an athlete starts to think about that sort of autonomy and the direction they want to go in life, then their athletic development can also become a little bit more of their own journey. And they might decide to take a little bit more ownership of who they're becoming athletically. It's clear in a team environment that what the other teammates are doing, what the, the culture is of the group, is going to have a huge impact on the performance of that individual. Every athlete knows this. When they're choosing a club to go to, they want to know what the culture is going to be like, what the coach is going to be like. We're all subject to our environment. We're all massively impacted by the people that we connect with. So yeah, Ben Patrick, he's not like any other coach that I've worked with in many ways. But in many ways he's the same in that if he increases his expectations of himself, if he takes a little bit more action, better action, smarter action, he continues to look for those better, smarter actions. If he gets new knowledge, if he gets connected to other people who care about what he's doing, care about his message, and want to support him, then life gets better. You can see that for him. That's really easy to see. The Rogan podcast was phenomenal. The same is true for you. The same is true for me, the same is true for a professional athlete. It's the same process. For me, the fun is in identifying this process and seeing it going on. Every individual story, every individual coach that I've worked with, that's the fun thing. I was chatting with another coach this morning that I worked with years ago saying, yeah, I'm making 20 grand a month, I launched this new business, I'm going to the world championships in weightlifting. It wasn't on that path before. It's not me, it's that whole process. You gotta get that whole process going around you. And when the process is falling down, you identify which parts of the process are missing. And you fill the gaps. You look at, okay, how do I improve this area? How do I improve that area? How do I increase my expectations again? For me right now, one of the big increases in expectation is the improvement of my strength, squat and press on the path to a bigger, better snatch. But they're symbols of momentum in life. And I know that getting that momentum with my lifting is a powerful symbol and something that I can leverage to go to other levels in other areas. 
the conversation with Ben around strength, around knees is going to continue. But there are bigger conversations that are popping up between myself and Ben, between other members of the community. They all require momentum, personal momentum. They require success. Success creates more opportunity. Get your lifting done. Improve your expectations of yourself. Get connected to people who want to see more from you, who can help to get more out of you. Plan your actions. Take better actions. Get new knowledge. With that new knowledge, in that circle, in that cycle, great things happen. So I appreciate all the people who reached out. It's pretty cool to have your name mentioned on the world's biggest podcast. But it's only the beginning. And what matters most is that you get something from this video. You make a decision about where you're headed. Recognize that it really matters who knows about your expectations for yourself who's supporting you to get new knowledge, to consolidate that knowledge, to share it, to create. Let's go.